Hello everyone, you've probably heard of a nuclear bomb called the Tsar bomb, but have you ever heard of a small portable bomb M388? So today we will talk about her, sit down comfortably, enjoy watching. After the first nuclear bombs were created in the USA and the USSR, the development of this type of weapons went in two main directions. The first was to build up power and create delivery vehicles, which led to the emergence of ballistic missiles whose destructive capabilities are even beyond the bounds of common sense. The second way, now half forgotten, was to reduce the size. So when the United States, at the height of the Cold War, the Los Alamos Scientific Laboratory created the M388 Davy Crockett nuclear supercaliber munition, named after American congressman and national hero David Crockett, 1786 to 1836, which was fired from a recoilless gun. Production was started in 1956, a total of 2,100 weapons were manufactured. Structurally, an atomic projectile consists of a head fairing, a body, for stabilizers and a warhead. On the outer surface of the shell body there was a two-position switch with two HA slash LO, height, forward slash, low, marks for setting the height of the detonation of the product. The M388 uses a variant of the W54Y1 subkiloton warhead, from 10 to 20 tons in TNT equivalent, the value was set manually before firing. The mass of the MK54 warhead is 23 kilograms. The circular probable deflection of the projectile is 240 to 320 meters. The detonation of the bomb was carried out using a timer, which had to be set in advance, before firing, so that the projectile exploded in the air above the target, this significantly increases the destructive power of the bomb. In 1962, two tests of this gun using live charges were conducted at the Nevada test site. From 1961 to 1971, the M388 Davy Crockett systems were equipped with special combat groups on duty on the border with the Warsaw Bloc countries. Since the late 1970s, the system has been decommissioned. That's it today, thank you all for watching, subscribe to the channel if you liked it and watch the following videos, have a good day to everyone.